Hands up which idiot returned the book to the library before doing this video. Thankfully it's still fully ingrained in my memory and all I can say is the Maze Runner, wow, jaw dropping. So there'll be an image on screen if you want to see which edition of the book that I read. I will say straight away that this video will contain spoilers as with my previous book versus film video because I want to go into depth about a few things and if you haven't read it, you must. So first of all, the story itself is really interesting. We have all of these young teenage boys who are trapped inside the glade and they don't know how they got there. They've been there, most of them have been there for many years and they have to try and work every single day to get out of this maze but it keeps moving and you know it, it's, it seems impossible and then this boy Thomas turns up and suddenly everything changes. So that's about as non-spoiler as I'm going. So the characters first of all across both the film and the book I thought were really interesting. I thought Milo who was pronounced Milo in the film if I remember which kind of messed with my head a bit was brilliant and Chuck was great and I just I loved all of the characters apart from the girl. It took me about three quarters of the book to get on board with her and then once I got on board with her I thought yes fine but I think she added a lot more to the film than she did to the book which is probably the only time that I preferred the film. Seriously I was actually really disappointed with the film. Had I watched the film first I never would have read the book so I'm really thrilled that I did it the other way on. The book had my jaw dropping. It was so compelling and the thing I love most about it was the pacing. A lot of books like that where you have all of these reveals throughout, there's always like little hints of what's coming next. Not with The Maze Runner. I had no idea where it was going. I had no idea what was going to happen next and it just kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. Another thing I loved about it is the use of the language like greeny and things, the words that they've made up because it was fun and it made you feel part of the story but it wasn't so in your face that you felt like you were reading dialogue in another language which a lot of uh, fantasy books like this tend to do that where they just do it far too much but this had a quite nice balance and I really liked that. Oh one more good thing about the film, Thomas Brodie Sangster. Brilliant. I think one of the reasons I didn't really enjoy the film so much is because it just is so different to the book. I mean yeah the basic plot's the same First of all, visually it looked completely different, which may be a problem on my part, but the Grievers just looked nothing like what was in my mind, so when we saw them I thought, what, what is that? But it, it's a Griever and that's fine, but it, in the way the doors looked, they just looked so different to what I was imagining, and, and the Glade itself looked completely different. So that's not, a, that's not the film's problem, that's more my problem, but obviously that's going to impact on my relationship with the film. The visuals aside, the plot's also a little bit muddled up. There are times when something happened and I was like, well, this happens later on in the book and there are times where something doesn't happen and then sometimes that thing that didn't happen would pop up later on and certain characters have different actions and relationships and certain characters don't look like what I imagined. So because I was so in love with the book and had this really strong idea and strong opinions of this story, because that wasn't mirrored, in the film, it was quite uncomfortable to watch. Having said that, I may watch Scorch Trials. I will definitely at some point read Scorch Trials. If you think it's worth prioritising, let me know and I will try and get my hands on a copy within the next few weeks and then I will watch the film eventually just to see what that's like, providing I like the book, which I really hope I do. The ending of Maze Runner wasn't 100% gripping but it was still gripping enough that I'm desperate to see what happens next. If you've either read or watched Maze Runner, let me know what you think of it. Of course, if you've seen and read it, I would love to know whether you prefer the book or the film, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!